So I've just written, a, finished an editorial, and it's filled with uh, really some shocking facts on China income growth there. Uh, this is American paychecks have drifted for decades. I want you to read the entire piece. It's at wstreet.com. I'll have it posted after the show. Meanwhile, the tariff battle uh, uh, has been one that's been brewing for decades. And I think most Americans understand this. In fact, I think intuitively they understood it long before there was a President Trump. Now, I think we saw it also this morning in that consumer sentiment data. Uh, sentiment slipped slightly in the month of July so far, in part to greater concerns about the tariff war. But it was the richest Americans that are expressing the most fear and anxiety. I find it amazing that rich people are anxious about all of this. But I think it's because middle and lower class income earners see this tariff battle as a necessary good for their own long term prosperity. And they're not really focused on near term price increases at Walmart. Here now to discuss David McIntosh, Club for Growth President, and Lawrence Jones, Campus Reform Editor in Chief. Now, I got to start with you, David. I know you uh, you support uh, the uh, the actions taken by uh, Senator Corker and others to reel in President Trump on this tariff battle. I, I do, and in fact, um, I support the president's goal of zero zero tariffs. Uh, the problem is it's heading in the wrong direction, and and you know, Charles, if countries aren't trading with each other. They end up shooting at each other, and that's the ultimate risk. If we get into a large trade war, uh, the world will be a lot less safe, and it could become a hot war. But in the end, I think the reason that uh, some of those statistics are showing up is that most Americans are not being told the truth. They're saying these are tariffs on China and their goods, when in fact they're tariffs that are taxes paid by Americans. And what Toomey and Corker are saying is, okay, these are taxes. Congress has to vote on them. All right. Well, I, I, Lawrence, I think Americans understand, but I, you know, I, and I hate to say it, I love David, but I think it's an elitist attitude to think that this is going over the head of the average American. But I think they're okay with it. I think they're okay with it short term, at least, because they feel like uh, all of this greatness, all of this great stuff with China, and, and while China has enjoyed 15 percent annual income growth annually for the last two decades, every year their income goes up 15 percent. You can't find an American out there who's been able to duplicate that. Yeah, Charles, and as you know, I'm a libertarian, and so I believe uh, in free trade. Uh, but I think as it relates to the American people, my ideology doesn't matter. Uh, it matters that they sent a guy to Washington that they felt uh, wanted to do something a little bit different. Uh, and so many of us on the conservative side and libertarian side uh, want to buck this president on this from a principle standpoint, and we believe that it will hit the consumers eventually. But on the short term, it seems like the American people are backing this president on this because they do. Uh, these are the same people that he advocated for. My only concern, though, Charles, is that um, I, I'm afraid that eventually we will get hit. The consumers will get hit. And I don't want the president to undo all the good he did with tax reform. Uh, but but that's yet to be determined. David, um, and, I, and again, I think people know that the prices could go up, and I think they're okay with it as long as they think that this is a, a fight they can win. I look at China's stock market. I look at their credit crisis. I look at their debt bubble. Uh, I look at the moves that the uh, People's Bank of China have, has made to, to free up capital, to get banks to lend. I think we are, quote-unquote, winning this right now. But the point is, is, is this a fair relationship that we're in? And, and if it's not... Isn't it an American tradition to fight back against uh, uh, this unfairness? Uh, look, especially on some of the areas like intellectual property where they've just turned a blind eye to the Chinese companies that steal those and rip them off. Yeah, we, we need to fight hard for that. I also think the president needs to get to a win where he pushes China to lower some of these tariffs that they have on our goods. What I worry about is that some of his advisors are actually high tariff guys um, and will they actually say yes if the Chinese say okay we we buckle we'll lower this tariff and and will they take the deal the president would but I'm not sure they're going to be straightforward in advising him when he's got a good deal on the table you know I, I think that's legitimate, but you got Larry that's legitimate. Uh, the cut low is in there go ahead Larry, Larry. I'm sorry. Yeah, Lawrence. yeah. That, that, <laughs> well, you got that's what I was going to say, Charles. You got Larry Cutlow that's right next to the president yeah. that disagrees no, with this. Uh, but uh, and, and you know, I respect Larry Cutlow. He, he's a great economist as well. He knows this stuff. Uh, and so uh, it, it gives me some faith that Larry is standing by the president.
president when it comes to this tariffs. Again, most of us on this debate are free traders, um, and I don't intend on uh, changing my position on that. But but I think we would be naive if we were to deny some of the stuff, as Charles noted, that is happening with China. Uh, we're already in the war. I don't see the president getting out of war until he gets a win. Yeah, I really don't think he's going to get out of it. But again, I think the good point here is also uh, you know, at some point, because China already kind of put out an olive branch, uh, 70 billion. I think we can get a lot more, but uh, I think President Trump will be in position to, to, to declare victory real soon. Hey, thank you both very much. Have a great weekend, gentlemen. You too, Thanks, Charles. Charles. See you soon.